Hello my gorgeous angels, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. As you can see from the title of today's video, I am back with another fake tan review. And today I'm going to be trialing the Tanologist 360 Spray Tan Mister, along with the Tanologist Self Tan Water. I have actually filmed a Tanologist review on my channel already. It was one of my very, very early videos and it is actually one of my most viewed videos. I believe it's nearly at like 14,000, which is absolutely insane to me, but obviously I filmed that probably around a year year and a half ago so I thought I would refilm it but just with a few different products. I've been wanting to try the spray tan mister for the longest time and I thought what better excuse to give it a go and film it for YouTube, let you guys know how I get on, what I think of it, if I think it's overhyped, if I think it's a bit of a gimmick or if I genuinely think it is a great product. So if you want to see how I get on then just carry on watching. I am so excited to tan. I haven't tanned since New Year's Eve and I'm feeling very very pale at the minute and I'm also just so excited to give these products products a try but I am also a little bit nervous. Nervous excited. So as I explained in the intro today I'm going to be trying the Tanologist Self Tan Water along with their 360 Spray Tan Mister. I saw this all over TikTok when it first came out and it looked incredible and I cannot believe it's taken me this long to try it. Essentially what it is is a product dispenser almost so you empty your bottle of self tan water into the mister and then I believe you use it almost a bit like a spray tan so you missed your whole body and then I believe you still have to rub it in. I feel like I should probably read the instructions. Glow like a pro with a quick and easy spray tan at home. Our continuous mister gives the most flawless even streak free application ever. Featuring our 360 spray nozzle with a long continuous lightweight stream. This is a glow game changer. Let's hope it's a game changer. Moisturize dry areas prior to application. Fill bottle with Tanologist self tan water. Press down trigger until ultra fine mist is dispensed. Mist until skin is totally saturated covering face, hands and feet last. Blend with a tanning mitt or hand in hand. Gone are the days where I put fake tan on with a hand. Whenever they say that, I think you're lying. Even if I wash my hands 20 times after I apply it, I'm still going to wake up with bright orange palms. So best believe I'm using a tanning mitt, not my hand. But it says blend with a tanning mitt or hand in sweeping motions. Your glow will develop in one to four hours. As usual, I will be leaving on overnight. Whenever something says one to four hours, I always give it a full 12 hours just to make sure that it's really, really developed. So I will be leaving on overnight and showering in the morning. I have honestly been so interested by this ever since it first came out and I'm so excited to finally give it a go. I honestly just really hope it lives up to the hype because I feel like I have really hyped it up in my mind. I've just turned the brightness down on my ring light so you can see the actual bottle. So I've just taken out of the packaging and it is this lovely beige colour. It's obviously just got the Tanologist branding on the front and here is the little trigger and then obviously this is where the product comes out. I wonder if it fits the whole bottle in there. I'm honestly so excited to try this. I feel like it's also worth saying at this point I've never actually tried the Tanologist self tan water. I have done a previous video on my channel but that was using the self tan mousse which I absolutely loved. The scent is still my favourite scent of tan I've ever tried but I have never tried the self tan water so I'm also intrigued just to see what sort of results that gives especially along with the mister. I feel like this is a recipe for disaster. I don't know where to put the whole bottle in but it looks like the whole bottle will fit so I'm just going to go all in and put the whole bottle in. It's not full up to the brim, so the whole bottle fills it up to about this point. I feel like I want to give it like a test spray before I spray it on my body, but I don't just want to spray it into the thin air. I'm just going to spray a tiny bit into this plastic bag that it came in because I want to see what the spray is like before I go all in and just apply it to my body. Oh! <gasps> Smells so good. So from my little experiment that I've just done, it seems that you can't just hold the trigger down and have a continuous stream. I think you have to constantly kind of like pump it up and down. So as per usual with my tanning videos, I'm gonna zoom you out a little bit, show you me applying the product to my legs before I sit down and give you my first thoughts. The only shorts that I could find have mince pies on them, so we're still gonna be in the Christmas spirit over here. I've also picked out one of my many tanning mitts and this one still has a completely clean side, so I'm gonna be using that. I'm a little bit apprehensive because I am spraying this mist in front of my white sofa. I'm going to spritz and kind of move up and down so that I can get just like a clean coverage of my whole leg. I feel like I should put a towel down. Okay, I put a quick towel down because this shit's going to get everywhere. That literally took me no more than 30 seconds. Hands down, the quickest tan application I have ever done. Mm -hmm. 
that is both my legs done. So I'm going to pop away, tan the rest of my body, and then I'll be back to let you know my first thought. I don't think I've ever applied tan that fast. Honestly, without all of the camera bits and sorting the cameras out and moving into my bathroom and moving back out again and all of the faff, that literally took me less than five minutes. Like if I was just tanning one evening and I wasn't filming it for YouTube, that would take me less than five minutes. It was so quick, so easy and so efficient. And I feel like I am actually really, really surprised. I wasn't getting my hopes up. I'm going to be honest. I thought it might be a little bit of like a really overhyped thing that you don't really need in your life. You don't really need it in your tanning routine. I did honestly really think it was going to be overhyped. However, I'm now fully on the hype. I am so impressed. So as you saw from the clip of me applying it to my legs, it is literally such a quick way of applying your tan. The spray is definitely long enough for you to mist like the whole length of your leg, for example. So the trigger itself is actually quite soft and quite slow. So it gives you that time to really mist whatever part of your body you're tanning. So for example, your legs, it really gives you time to mist down the whole length of your leg, which is incredible. I'm honestly still not over how quick that was. The actual tanning water itself feels really nice on my skin as well. It feels nice and moisturizing, not too dry. It was super easy to rub in with the mitt once you had applied it with the mister. And it just feels really, really nice and silky on my skin, nice and smooth. It's sunk in quite nicely. So far, so good. I am massively impressed by this and I'm 110% on the hype. However, I will be intrigued to see the results, whether applying tan in this way does give really, really seamless, flawless results in terms of streaks, in terms of patches you might've missed or just in terms of general application. Another thing I will say is do it in the bathroom. Don't do it anywhere else. As much as I am so on the hype about this product, I do think it goes everywhere. Even when I was in the bathroom, spritzing my arms and my upper body. If for example, you are spritzing your arm and obviously it doesn't have the biggest surface area ever. So for example, I'm spritzing here. The surface area that it covers is obviously wider than your arm. So then it just sort of mists into the air and onto the floor or onto the walls or wherever so one thing i would say is do it in the bathroom if you can i did about two lengths of my leg and i was like shit i need to get a towel down on this floor luckily there is just floorboards in my flat so i've not got carpet or anything like that if i had carpet r.i.p me my life would be over so definitely apply it in the bathroom if you can just because it does seem to be a little bit on the messy side and you obviously don't want to cover all of your belongings in tan but other than it being a little bit messy i am really surprised by this as i said i really wasn't getting my hopes up i thought it was overhyped i didn't think it was going to be that special but i have been pleasantly surprised and i feel like this it's going to be a new go-to. The fact that this takes less than five minutes is such a winner for me. As I mentioned earlier, I am going to leave this on overnight and then I will check in with you before I shower in the morning. I'm so tired. Okay, so it is now the next morning and as you can probably see, I have woken up with a really, really nice natural glow. Definitely not as dark as I was expecting, but maybe with the self-tan water, you just have to put another layer on. I'm so intrigued to see what the runoff is like in the shower and see if it kind of gets dark over time but sometimes they do actually develop a little bit more after you've showered so i'll be intrigued to see if that happens with this one but in terms of my bed sheets there is absolutely no tan on them which is incredible i love when you find a tan that doesn't transfer to your bed sheets so i'm gonna go ahead and jump in the shower make myself look a little bit more presentable and then i'll be back to give you my final thought i am back i'm looking a whole lot different than i did at seven o'clock this morning and of course i'm sitting down to show you the final results and also chat through my final thoughts thoughts. I have just put on this strappy little bralette crop top sort of thing so you can clearly see the colour that it's given me. As I said in the first clip that I filmed this morning I am a little bit surprised. I thought it was going to be a tiny bit darker but I don't know if that's just because I'm used to using quite strong mousses with a really strong guide colour and also really strong payoff and obviously this is a little bit of a lighter product. It could be a result of the mist. Obviously when something is mist sting over you it's not applying too much product so it could honestly just be that i didn't put enough on or i could have done with another layer the mist is really really nice and light so it does just give you a really light glow but if you are looking for something a bit darker or if you're just expecting a bit of a darker tan then definitely just go for a second round with the mister put a little bit more on maybe two layers would give you just a bit of a deeper tan so that is definitely something to keep in mind if you are looking for a super dark deep tan definitely layer up with the 
mister or just spray more product on your skin before you rub it in. As I've already said many times in this video, I am really pleasantly surprised by this. I thought it was a gimmick. I thought it was overhyped. I didn't really think I was going to like it. However, it made applying tan so easy. Rubbed in so quickly, literally less than five minutes. And although the results might not be as dark as I was hoping, I cannot fault the application. It is honestly seamless so far. I have not found any patches where I've missed, any streaks, any kind of like dodgy areas that I might normally find when I tan with a mousse and a mitt. I did completely forget to mention the price at the start of the video, but the Tanologist Spray Tan Mister is $9.99 and a bottle of their self-tan water, I believe is $12.99 or $13.99. They do also do refillable pouches, which are a pound cheaper, but they were all sold out. So I just had to get the regular bottle and then obviously decant it as you saw. So for $9.99, I am really pleasantly surprised. I definitely think I will be reaching for this more and more. Now that I know to maybe just put a little bit more product on or go for two layers, then I definitely see this being a go-to. I still cannot believe how quick the application was, like literally less than five minutes and I was done. And that is definitely what you want out of fake tan application. You don't want to be spending 20 minutes making sure every square inch of your body is covered, making sure you've got no streaks, making sure you've rubbed it incorrectly. And the self tan water was also really easy to rub in. It dried quickly. There was no transfer on my bed sheets, which is always positive. And it has definitely given me a really nice glow. So that is it for today's video guys i really hope you enjoyed it as always i will leave some links down in the description so you can go and pick up these products and give them a try if you did enjoy this video then please don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe down below thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you in my next video